Hey everyone, this is Zephy. Hey what's up guys, this is Zephy back again for another Kingdom Hearts card review and we're on week 23. Uh, today I'm actually going to be reviewing two new cards from the new set, uh, Light and Darkness. And the two cards with basically the same effect, different stats, but I wanted to go over basically how they relate. The, they're essentially, they accomplish the same thing, uh, but then there are some differences between them, and these two cards are going to be the alternate Donald Duck level 3 and Goofy level 3 alternate. Um, they both have the same effect when they come into play, uh, you draw a card, and Donald Duck's stats are plus 3 support value and 4 magic value. Goofy's stats are plus 5 support value and 1 magic value. I would say all around, Donald probably has the better stats and setup. So Donald Duck, between both of them, Donald Duck is a better card because of the four magic value. You can cast a lot with that. Uh, there's only really very little that we know right now, as of now, that you need level five and six magic for, and that's Stopper and Stopka. Um, but most any card you can cast with four magic value. So Donald Duck level three, it's a good choice. Uh, the alternate in it, when it comes into play, you draw a card, which is not a negative. I mean, it's nice to get card advantage and get more options. So it's definitely a plus to look at. Uh, one thing to make note of is how the new set is sort of gearing toward anti-magic uh, heavily with Phil uh, and Merlin. And there is another card coming out that's going to limit magic friend casting. So if you're playing, dealing with that, you may consider these, you know, like Goofy and Donald Duck, where instead of playing like a Bambi or a magic card, you play a friend card that won't be, you know, negated or countered, and you still be able to draw a card with it when it comes into play. So I, I kind of see the purpose in that, where they're creating these friend cards with built-in abilities that sort of take the place of magic cards or magic friend cards that already have those abilities. So it gives you an alternative and an option. It might not be as powerful, because, I mean, you look at Bambi, you know, level 3, you're drawing 2, you know, when it comes into play, you're only drawing one here, but again, you're still getting a level three friend, you're still getting, you know, decent stats, and you're getting board presence, and you can get, then you can bring out level four friends, and, or other level threes, and so on, so it's not the worst uh, concept in the world, and it, we might, depending on how, you know, the game is structured, and where we go forward might be, you might be seeing these pop up a lot more often, and you might see less and less of Bambi, so the game may take kind of an uh, alternate you know, course and change the metagame a little. So keep that in mind. You know, they're, they're always there as an option. They might not be the best, and, and maybe, you know, we don't see them get played. I'm not sure yet, but it's just, you know, good to be mindful of, you know, what's going on with cards and, and to look at all the effects that, that are uh, being presented and, and how to utilize them and, and, you know, maybe work out a better strategy that, you know, you still get some kind of advantage. Maybe not as heavy, but you gain enough that, you know, you're able to still play cards and, and gain something over your opponent at some point, you know, an advantage or board presence or just card advantage or whatever it, the case may be. So I figured I would let you guys know about that and hopefully uh, I'll see you guys well again on Wednesday. Alright, thanks.